I remember like being terrorized, like not wanting to lose. Um, and um, just weird things like you would, you would be planning like a gigantic event and they're like, your furniture didn't arrive. I was like, honey, I used to sleep with the manager of this hotel. I talked to him this morning, the furniture's in the basement, what's next? Um, so I was, I was not easily rattled on there and I did really well and I almost won. And um, I thought we did a great, um, we did some great work. You did do um, good on there. Thank you. You were on with such a great cast too, though. Like Boy George. Boy George, Matt Eisman, who's so smart. He's a doctor in real life. He doesn't just do uh, uh, Ninja Warrior. And um, Brooke Burke was really good. And uh, who else? Oh, Portia Williams and I got to work at the, the Seas Candy Factory together, which was really fun. Kyle um, Richards. Kyle Richards, who I adore, who I met doing that. Um, uh, who's the guy from, uh, uh, not Def Leppard, uh, Vince Neal. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, and you yeah. were with Snooki, too. And Snooki. So people I would have never met, like, I've been to Vince Neal's house several times, you know, and I'm just like, how, if the kids on the back of the school bus in 1987 that called me Lovey Howell were here, um, they would be very envious. So um, I think that's the fun thing about doing some of these like celebrity reality shows is that they throw you into a mix of people you probably haven't met and never would. Totally. Well, listen, we love seeing, you know, you with Housewives. Are you shocked at like what Bravo's become? You know, I mean, like it started with, you know, the house that Queer Eye kind of introduced to the world but like it's the house that housewives built i mean are you ever yeah. shocked at like this network that you were a part of in the beginning is now just this thing well you know they've always been really good i think at being um the pop culture network and i know other networks have kind of tried to like claim that space and i think bravo really does a great job with that and they've always had very pop culture um centric shows that people talk about water cooler television and i think um that housewives continues that kind of branding and um we're all um captivated by it if you're not a housewives fan all you have to do is watch an episode of a housewives show and you'll be like oh my gosh i'm, I'm obsessed i want to know everything and you just you get drawn in it's 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 the modern day soap opera i guess do you watch? I mean, listen, you're a very busy man. Like, do you watch Housewives? Okay, here's the deal. For some reason, and I do, I do watch, yes. But for a long time, I hadn't watched some of them. But I just, I became friends with so many of the Housewives just from, like, living in New York. So I would run into Luann in the Hamptons. And, like, we, we actually flew on a plane together and became friends. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to watch the show started watching the show, became friends with her, was friends with Dorinda for, for other reasons, was friends with um, uh, Bethany because I had been on her talk show a bunch of times. I knew her from the early Bravo days. So I kind of knew all those women and people would say, oh my gosh, you see what this one did or that one did? And I was like, no, I just know them. Um, and we're just kind of friends. Uh, Beverly Hills, I just, you know, I did a show with Garcelle. I did a show with Kyle. Um, who else is on there? Uh, Lisa Rinna, I've known for forever. I just saw a picture of her and I like hugging like 20 years ago. Her hair is exactly the same and perfect. I had hair. Um, so I just know a lot of them. Um, but I enjoy watching them. I enjoyed Atlanta. I enjoy Beverly. I would have to say I enjoy Beverly Hills and New York the most, I guess, because I know people. What's the best thing about like hanging out with like Countess Loanne? Oh, um, you know, the thing I really think is great about her is she really um, understands who she is and she kind of does it on purpose and she, you know, always looks great. She understands her body like she just gets it like she's a very confident, um, uh, successful woman who just has a great um, vibe about her. I really and I know people have all kinds of opinions, but as a friend, I enjoy her. I, I've had interactions with her too. And I think she is completely lovely. I think she gets it as well. Yeah. 
what would I mean? You are a fashion expert. What would you say is like the difference between like the New York housewives fashion and the Beverly Hills housewives fashion? Oh, this is going to get me in trouble. Um, and I've done these things on watch what happens live where they're like, Oh, rate this outfit. I think that, um, uh, the New York housewives, um, and I'm trying it. I'm, I don't think of them as much as I lo I love Luann and I think she always presents herself in a very consistent way that always looks great. Like she knows who she is and she dresses accordingly and it always works. Um, uh, some of the others maybe are a little bit more like hit or miss. LA, um, Beverly Hills is a lot about labels. Like New York you'd think would be more about shopping because honestly, as a fashion guru, I enjoy, you know, there's no better shopping in the United States than in New York City. And you have access oh, to everything, including, you know, runway shows, including all of the best, you know, uh, PR houses that have all the samples that work with people. So New York should be better dressed, but Beverly Hills is really into the labels and the fashion, especially Dorit. And I've been criticized for criticizing Dorit. I love her, I think she's fantastic. Um, I'm just not a fan of when it's a look head to toe, like it's all from Versace or it's all from Dior. Um, I like when you mix it up and you um, create your own look. I think that's how you express your personal style. So um, there have been people when they say, who's the best dress? Everyone says, oh, it's gotta be Dorit. And for me, no, it's, it's people that, you know, put their own spin on it. Who is then your best dressed housewife? Um, actually, one of the best dressed people in that genre is not on Housewives. It's um, Christine Chu from Bling Empire. She has got the most exquisite taste and the most beautiful clothing. And she is going to be a guest judge on our episode of RuPaul's Drag Race this week. And she was so knowledgeable, like quoting like, oh, this is very Mugler. There was a 2006 runway show. I was like, bitch, are you coming after my job? Because Shit. she was so good, so knowledgeable. And she is just very chic. Bling Empire was one of the best things ever. Yeah, it was great. Everyone, everyone loved that show. And I, I, I hope there's more coming. I don't know about like what's happening there there is i mean rumor is dorothy wang i mean it's not announced but dorothy wang from rich girls i don't know if you remember that show honey she's gonna be on it now oh, uh, with christine with christine oh great yeah Chris christine christine's the real deal what do you think of christine quinn do you know her from selling sunset she's a fashion girl no i don't know her i've seen that show just a couple times and i wasn't like I wasn't buying it. Um, so I was like, I kind of like, was like, mm, no, this isn't for me. I did like selling the Hamptons though. Well, that show is coming back season two, any day now. Yeah. And there was some hot guys on that too, which is always nice. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. What, what weren't you buying with selling sunset? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. It didn't seem as, um, it didn't seem authentic to me. Like it felt maybe like it was like set up. And um, I think maybe I might have possibly worked with one of the agents on a different uh, project and they weren't even a realtor at that point. And I was like, wait a minute here. So I was just, I wasn't sure. I was unsure about it. Interesting. But it does, it does really well. And I did enjoy looking at their real estate, you know, 